his <laughs> ego work. I don't think I've ever been a, I don't think I've ever seen a wrestling company owner take as many L's in public back to back as Tony Khan has. Yet anytime he does media for his company, his ego and level of smugness just dwarfs his previous displays of narcissism. My question is: Is Tony Khan really this obnoxious? Create all his bravado be a work? He lives online, so you can see the people are talking about how low AEW ticket sales are and how bad his booking is. How people know for a fact that AEW lost a hundred million on that awful video game. Like he got it for free on the PS Pass store and deleted it before the end of the day. Mm. And he still has this air about him like he just wrote comfortably numb. <laughs> so guys, you think it's a work or is Tony Khan really this just delude just as deluded? And shout out to Wrestling Soup. Collapse sometimes, guys. They're hilarious. Whatever. No, Tony's just like I mean, I don't know what they're doing to their financials, but both bro, these these guys live to post W's on, on social media. Mm-hmm. And and you know, try to turn L's into W's and stuff. Just like, you know, I, I don't know. It's kind of, it is what it is. You he, know? Had, he had that fan base, the the displeased with WWE fan base in the palm of his hand for a little while. And it's always been a surprise to me to see how, how harshly uh, they've turned against him. A lot have. Right. I, I don't know that he's a narcissist or deluded. I mean, when you have those kind of positions running a wrestling company, you know, handling uh, personnel for, for the Jaguar stuff, you just got to be very confident. You can't you can't second guess yourself. You gotta you gotta go with your confidence, believe in your gut. Right. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored.